everyone. First up, I want to apologise for looking a little bit messy and um, icky. I've basically had a day of being relaxing and kind of just staying at home so I haven't showered or anything like that. Um, but I'm going to be having the bath and I'm going to be trying out two of the jelly um, items from Lush. So the ones that I'm going to be trying out is one of the jelly um, bath bombs. This one is the Harry Potter one. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, I think it's dark art. And then I'm also going to be trying out the jelly um, face masks as well. The Just the Power Dry face mask. Um, so I'm going to do a video and share with you my thoughts on it, my first opinions and show you what they're like. Um, I'm quite curious but I didn't want to spend like a lot of money on something that I didn't know what it was going to be like. So I did research it beforehand and I've seen other people's videos and I really love them so I wanted to do my own. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get started. I'm running the bath at the moment. I know that with the jelly bath bombs you're supposed to run the bath water extremely hot then put the bath bomb in and then add cold water. Um, so I'm going to run the bath to a really hot temperature, pop in the bath and show you what it's like. And then I'll get started with the face mask as well, which I'm super excited to try out. And I'll show you in a bit. So this is what the bath bomb looks like. It's just this dark black one with loads of like weird grooves in it. Um, the water is quite hot now, so I'm going to drop it in and see what it does and what it looks like. And straight away it starts fizzing quite fast actually um, and fills the bath water and it's kind of going like a grey colour which I thought it was going to but it is going a little bit darker and um, so let's just see what it looks like and it smells absolutely amazing as well it's quite kind of fruity for the bath form as well I thought it would be a little bit more kind of more um, earthy but it's quite a fruity scent so it's quite nice So now you can kind of see that the water is getting really black now, which is quite good. Um, there's other colour as well coming out there. I think it's like a reddish, a pinkish kind of colour. So we'll see what that is. The water as well is going like a weird rocky texture instead of being like normal bathroom kind of texture. It's got a little bit of white crust in there, but it's going like a weird rocky kind of odd kind of looking texture. I think that's the jelly coming out of the last one. But I'm going to let it kind of fizz away and see what it looks like after. So far it looks really impressive and I'm really interested to actually get into the bath. Um, so I'll just show you what it looks like now and I'll show you the finished kind of result at the end of it. So I believe this is the jelly here, which is the stuff on top. So I'm going to scoop it out for you and show you. So that all there is like this jelly type material. It's quite a sticky type material. It's a weird one. It's weird to describe. Um, but it's basically just like putting your hand in jelly and kind of mushing it around. Um, but the bath water is completely filled with the water, with the jelly, sorry. Um, and it does stay and stain the hands, which I was told it was going to do um, before as well. So yeah, that is basically the jelly bath one. It goes a very, very dark black material. Um, I'm going to try and get this off my skin now and hopefully when I get in the bath it doesn't stain my skin. But I will do a review of the jelly um, face mask for you now as well. So after putting my hand in the water, just that little bit to show you, my hand has actually stained. Um, hopefully this will rub off and kind of wash off, but I'm going to put my whole body in the water in a minute and hopefully I won't get stained black. Um, but now I'm going to do a review of the face mask for you. So the face mask is the jelly face mask and this one is the just to clarify one. And um, so this is the orange toned one. Um, with the jelly face mask you're meant to get a little bit in your hands, it's meant to be dry hands. Um, you're meant to work it into a paste and then apply it to the skin and leave it to sit for 5-10 to ten minutes. So I'm going to pin my fringe back and then work it into a paste and put it onto my face for you. Um, hopefully this works a little bit better than the other face masks because for some reason all the other Lush face masks I always have a reaction to them. Um, so hopefully this one won't give me a reaction and it will turn out really well and leave my skin looking amazing. So I'm going to get, try that now and pin my fringe back. So this is what the mask looks like here, it's quite kind of like an odd texture, it basically feels like the the putty that you get, like the slime putty. Um, I'm just going to pinch a bit now, work it into a paste and then pop it into my face. It 
it is quite difficult to actually pinch the product out so I've got a little bit here I'm going to work it into a paste now So now that's gone into a paste, I'm going to pop it into my face and see what it feels like. Oh, it smells absolutely incredible. It smells really citrusy, which is nice. Um, it's quite easy to work on the face, but I feel like I'm going to be using quite a lot of the product. I'm going to be using kind of half the actual packet because this is just a little pinch and it's only not even just enough covered my chin kind of thing. So I'm going to say if how much I'm going to actually use of this product. Um, hopefully it will go and give me more than kind of one or two uses because I have a feeling this is going to take a lot to cover my face. So I'm going to pop it on there now and show you the finished results. So this is how much of the product I used. I didn't use that much as I thought I was going to do. Um, and this is the product on my face. So it gives me um, quite a thin layer of coverage on there. Um, it goes on quite sticky feeling but then it kind of starts to dry um, it's a very difficult way to describe it. It starts to dry like a traditional kind of face mask. Um, it smells absolutely amazing, really citrusy and really fresh. Um, I don't know if I can feel any of the beneficials, uh, benefits of it at the moment, um, but hopefully it shall kind of give me some results at the end. But I feel like this is more of a fun face mask than it is of a kind of a good beneficial face mask for your kind of skin. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it on now and I'm going to give my verdict at the end of it. Um, but this is what my bath now looks like. I am so scared that it is staying in the bathtub though, which is for you. Um, so this is what the bath looks like. This is the finished product. You can see all the, the jelly there. Um, but this started happening at the side, which I believe is going to stain. So I have a feeling I'm going to be in there at the end of this to bleach it and hopefully get off any of the kind of marks. Because um, this is my hand still, which I'm a little bit worried about. So hopefully it should be okay and I'll give you my final finished verdict at the end of my bath. Okay, so that is the bath done now. Um, I have to say with the face mask, it has made a massive difference in my skin. I was a little bit kind of worried about this one because I feel like it was a gimmick product, but this one has actually worked amazingly on my skin. Um, it's kind of tightened it in a way and made it a lot brighter and I can see a massive difference already and I've only used it once. So I would say the mask is definitely worth purchasing. Um, it is around seven pounds. Um, you don't use too much of the product as you've already seen. It works amazingly on the skin and also smells incredible as well. So I'd highly recommend purchasing the, just to clarify, mask. And we're gonna probably just have my glasses seem like the steaming up. I've obviously just got out of the bath. So I was in the bath for 45 minutes and this is the state of the bathtub now. So I am definitely gonna have to clean it. Um, it does leave the bath with a black residue kind of all over it um, which I feel like you would get with every other bath bomb but with it being black it just looks a little bit worse than kind of a normal bath bomb. The only downside to it is the fact that when I got into the bath obviously with it being a jelly it does make it very slippy and I did slip over so if you do purchase a bath bomb and use it for the first time be, be wary of the fact that you will slip over when you get into the bath. Um, the jelly dissolved throughout the bath because I was a little bit worried as to how it would go down the drain um, afterwards when you kind of pull the plug but it does dissolve after and it goes nicely into the bathtub leaves you with kind of a, like black kind of um, water um, but yeah I wasn't overly impressed with the bath bomb it didn't stain my skin luckily and my hand did clear um, it did leave um, markings on my towel and the kind of face cloth that I use as well in the bathtub but I wasn't blown away by the bath bomb. I probably wouldn't repurchase it. However, I do have the marmalade one. So I will make kind of like a revisit, if you would say. And I will do a product review of that one as well. Just to see if they do turn out the same. And they are kind of the same kind of difficulties that I have had with the first one. So I wasn't blown away with the bath bomb. But the face mask I was really impressed with. So that is my review of the Jelly Bath Bomb. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you've done a review as well, then please leave it linked below. I'd love to check that out. But yeah, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye.